Hi, it's Thursday the 10th on Day to Day with St. Joseph. I have an icon of Joseph here behind me. You know, Joseph is the happy man, the content man, the blessed man. Okay? He was able to live his faith out fully. He was able to live in a vocation. He was able to be faithful to our Lord. The gospel calls him the righteous man. And indeed, he is a righteous man. And, and like Abraham, uh, his ancestor of old, going way back, he is a man of faith. When you live your life in faith, at the end, you come to a contentment. You come to a happiness of soul that, that you did live um, with God. And it's really the only happiness that there is that lasts. It's anything that is abiding in the Lord, with the Lord, lasts forever. Because his love endures forever. This is called the, the hesed of Joseph. It, his faithful love. His faithful servanthood love. His faithful giving love. His other centered life. Uh, there's a happiness in that when we're not all fixed on ourselves, but fixed on God or fixed on our vocation. So the Beatitudes of Jesus speak about the blessed. You remember in Matthew 5, the Beatitudes, chap chapter 5, verses 1 to about 12. Blessed are the poor in spirit, right? Or the word can be happy. Happy are the poor in spirit. And you go through a whole list of, of happy are the following, the following kinds of people. Well, I think Joseph matches up to all of the attitudes. And that's what this tape is about here. We'll just go through one at a time, okay? St. Joseph lived in the spirit of the attitudes and in the many roles that he lived as carpenter, as spouse, as cooperator in the Holy Spirit, as obedient surrogate on earth of the Father in heaven. And when we get to blessed are the poor in spirit, I think that really means blessed are the remnants in faith, blessed are those who are on a wean, the one who remained steadfast, the people who kept their faith. I think it can describe the people who are gonna be living in our present time in the church and forward whether we will be steadfast or fall away, whether we'll be part of the body of Christ actively and participate in him and serve him and evangelize, or whether we'll just kind of fall into the ways of the secular life or that half-hearted kind of religious life. Holy Mother Church, though, calls us to the happiness of being with God and being poor in spirit, uh, when Mary was uh, visited to announce that the Lord was coming in her, how is it that, that you would choose me? You know? Um, but she says, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. And she will then give her Magnificat and say that the Lord is great. He is great in me. Holy is his name with mercy to share to age to age, to bring down the mighty and the exalted and the proud and the arrogant from their places and to lift up the lowly. Yes, to lift up the poor in spirit. Yes, Jesus will, will see Joseph willing to live this life out. He is surfacing along with a, a people with post-exile from the Babylonian times. And now it's a, a new people in Jerusalem, in Israel, who are willing to serve God. And they're willing to be poor in spirit. Joseph, he's, uh, he's got that right heart for the job. And he will live that heart lavishly to Mary and then to their child. Jesus Christ. Joseph is going to be devoted to mother and child, He's going to watch over them both. In this depiction, the Holy Spirit is above Mary. See that?
this, in this relief work of art, the Holy Spirit has come upon her and therefore she has become a pregnant with the holy embryo, which will grow to be this child. Now Joseph, he's just a faithful man, poor in spirit. Mary, faithful woman, poor in spirit, both close to Jerusalem, both great models of faith, the best that Jewish faith has to offer, really. And Joseph has somehow come into contact with Mary before all of this takes place, before this uh, Christ-bearing goes on. He has come to know her and admire this younger person to him who is so holy and was so devoted to the temple where he probably saw her and probably met his parents, Joachim and Anne. Maybe Joseph was coming into town with his parents. Uh, we know just his father's name, Jacob. And somehow God has a plan to unite these two, the two poor in spirit people. Joseph will not at first understand uh, the pregnancy of Mary. She gets the Annunciation just to herself. Uh, he will not understand it at first. But first, they, they do fall in love, but they both understand they're living consecrated lives. Mary needs a protector, a guardian. It's a unique relationship she's looking for. And Joseph, in the same way, is looking for unique relationship, but somehow they feel called to marriage. We know of some saints that were called to marry each other, brother and sister, but normally, normally people get married for, you know, for uh, mutual uh, sex and for the pleasure of it and the unitive measure of it and the procreative measure of it to bring in children. Well, this marriage will bring in a child it's just that God skips a step. <laughs> he doesn't need Joseph for it, but he needs the marriage for it. Yes, God will not have Mary get pregnant before she's married to Joseph. And that is uh, something that is clear in, in a teaching in a book I just read. It was one of the more important things the, the author had to say about Joseph, that he would marry before the Holy Spirit came down to give her the child. And then, then they take on this newer challenge. But they're two people that are, are very holy, poor in spirit. Last thing I want to say about Joseph here is he is a better than Adam. When Eve was tempted in the garden, she was alone. She did not have the protection of Adam. Where was Adam? But in this case, Joseph will be steadfast at her side. That is Mary's side, the new Eve. He'll be there and there'll be no sin. Not with these two and not with their child. He'll be the sinless one, the savior of the world, Jesus. Yes, blessed are the poor in spirit for the kingdom of God is theirs. So Mary and Joseph are going to help us all to become happy, to become glad. Glad tidings are here. Good news, Jesus has come, God's son. See you next time on Friday as we go to another beatitude and how Joseph lives out all of beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed is Joseph was poor in spirit.